But that was partially put right in Windsor this afternoon when some of the most senior officers in the Royal Air Force were at a special ceremony to pay tribute to the man who designed the hurricane, Sir Sidney Cam. This from Malcolm Stewart. To the people of Windsor, it was a much overdue memorial service for the local carpenter's apprentice who ranks as one of Britain's greatest engineers. Yet, as a member of his family said just before the service, in the 40 years since his death, Sidney Cam has become almost a forgotten figure. I think that Spitfire has been mentioned all the time and not the hurricane. And I mean, the hurricane did a marvellous job in the war, but they always mention the Spitfire. It was Windsor's Air Training Corps squadron that decided their town needed a permanent memorial to the engineering genius who gave the Royal Air Force the Hurricane that was the most successful aircraft in the Battle of Britain, and then a generation of jet aircraft including the Harrier, the plane that took the decisive role in the Falklands conflict. It is an amazing, uh, remarkable story for somebody who had no formal scientific education, started out as a woodworker like his father, and rose to be probably the greatest aeronautical designer the world has ever known. And so today's top brass of the Royal Air Force were at Windsor Parish Church to pay tribute to Sidney Cam as his great-granddaughter unveiled a plaque in his memory. Uh, just to look at the sleek features of the aircraft uh, and also that purring sound uh, of the Merlin engine uh, I think stirs uh, any airman or anyone who has the pleasure of actually watching it. Born in 1893, his first aircraft were wooden models he sold to boys at Eton College. But an apprenticeship at Brooklands led to him becoming Hawker's chief designer. The RAF had arranged for a lone hurricane to fly over Windsor today at the end of the service, but the Civil Aviation Authority said it would interfere with incoming flights to Heathrow. Here's what it might have looked like, a sight that enemy pilots certainly feared. Malcolm Stewart, Windsor 4, Meridian tonight.